We're up to our first lab of the Google Cloud Data Engineering Certification. In other words, known as Serverless Data Analysis with BigQuery. Now, you're down there. I've been, I've been standing up. Let's, let's come down on the same level. Sounds like the standing desk needs a bit of oiling. Now, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to... Whoa. How'd I end up here? This is not where I'm supposed to be. I'll be back later, but... Coursera for sponsoring this video. You know, I love Coursera because they partner with people like Google. Just have a look at this, right? Got that little Coursera. Can you see that Coursera for Google symbol there? I'm going through the serverless data sip. What's it called? Serverless data analysis with BigQuery. I even said it before, I can't remember it here. And what exactly is BigQuery? Well, according to the formal definition, it's a no ops data warehousing and analytics. Now I just read that because I, I purely copied, copied it down. But to me, I understand it as it's a place where you can, if you have a big amount of data, you can send it up to the cloud. And if you want to store it and leave it there in a safe manner, you can, and it's, it's, it gets cheaper over time as you store it there for a longer period of time because Google do something smart with their, their storage to, I mean, if you're not accessing it all the time, you don't have to use that electricity and all that sort of stuff. So storage gets cheaper over time, but it means that if you want to do a do analysis on that, like run some queries on it, which is literally why it's called BigQuery, you can do it fast and you can do it effectively with, with SQL, if SQL, SQL-like queries. What's Why is that so handy? Well, the fact is that it's serverless, right? And to me, I don't know anything other than data warehousing that's serverless, which, which means living in the cloud, you don't have to necessarily boot up a computer to run stuff on it. Whereas in the past, you'd have to have your own- Sorry, Daniel, there's nothing to repeat. Siri's just going crazy. Anyway, in the past, my phone should be in the drawer. That's a note to self, right? Keep your phone in the drawer. In the past, you'd have to have this big computer on site and run all this data stuff. You'd have three different people to do this, to do a job that you and I can do right now in, in, uh, in, in the bedroom, I guess. Um, but we're going to jump into the first lab. Now with this, with this course is the reason why I love it is because there's structured labs. It actually shows you what to do if you actually want to, to start running it on your own data. So I'm going to, I have a plan. I'm going to get three labs done. There's six labs in total, three labs and then break, and then we'll do another three laps. Alright, we just did our first, it's really dark in here. I think there's a storm brewing. We'll get to that in a second. Actually, there's enough light for this. We just finished our first quiz on the the Google uh, certification data engineering. We've we've been through three labs, so we've, we've done the goal. We've done the goal for now. It's 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 break time, I think. But lab one, you can see, was building building. I think that should be and and building a big query query. Lab was loading and exporting data. So how do you how do you get data from from your computer um, to to upload it to the BigQuery? You can do it. I the two methods we went through was the command line interface, so terminal, and then otherwise just that regular upload button. And then it was a lab on advanced capabilities, so advanced SQL queries. I'm finding SQL SQL seems a bit like a bit like Python and pandas, right? But it's 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 more to me seems not, I don't want to say simple simple's not the right word for it but it's it's like you're literally going select this from here where this and group it by that so I mean it's similar and there's a saying when I went to Bali once it's like when you when you go over there and you buy like a t-shirt but it's a it says it's a, it's a, a supreme t-shirt but it's not supreme they, they would say it's same same but different that's what I feel uh sequel is <laughs> I think we've got a storm coming check it out that sky is looking grey it's looking dark 
The rains are coming, or actually the rains are rains are kind of already here. Seven, you got a new toy there? You got a toy there too, Belle. We were gonna come and play in the backyard, but I guess since it's raining, let's do a workout inside. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now I went for a bike ride earlier this morning in the sun. That was amazing. How good is the sun? Check this out. We just finished some riding. Writing, not riding, we're riding now. Now we're up to, we've got BJJ training and the Google Cloud certification on Coursera. It's a big day. So I've done some physical exercise today. Oh yeah, I had BJJ training. I got a tournament in like 10 days, which I'm really excited for. But I like to break up study with movement. So I've been sitting down for a bit now. It's time to move the body. <laughs> the puppies love moving too. We're gonna do something nice and simple. We'll start off five minutes of stretching and then we're gonna do 100 push-ups and 100 squats and then we'll get back into the other three labs that we have to do. <laughs> Let's go. We'll start off with one of my favorite ones for the hip. You know, sitting down for so long studying all day, sitting on a computer screen, your hips can get real tight and that's, that's not a good time. So what we wanna do is get one leg back like this, a leg up forward, hands, shoulder width apart and then you're just gonna Straighten your back leg, thrust your hips towards the ground, all right? And if you really want to step it up, you can just hold it here. You can go down like this, right? Keeping that same posture. Or what I like to do is get an upper back stretch as well. Lift the arm up like that. We can do this for five, five each side. Should feel it all through the hip, all through the leg. Really make an effort to keep that back leg straight. All right, for this one, we're doing a posing movement to what you usually do when you sit down, right? What do you usually do? Usually sitting at a computer desk, hunched over like this, right? So the spine is curved and the shoulders are rounded forward. So this one is to, to counteract that. You're gonna come in just like this. You can start on your knees if you want, or I prefer start flat on your stomach. We're just gonna pretend like we're on a surfboard. Keep your hips on the ground, push up like this. So now we're doing the reverse of that curve. That happens when you're sitting at a computer desk for a long period of time. I'm just gonna hold this in. We're gonna make the arms nice and straight, spread the fingers and hold it there. For about 20 or 30 seconds or so. Just to feel that stretch, should feel it right through the spine, right through the hips. All right, push ups and squats. Let's do it. We call this one the lounge room workout because you can do it anywhere. So to do these 100 squats and 100 push-ups, we're gonna do 20 push-ups straight into 20 squats and then we're gonna have a minute rest. Do that five times, all right? I like breaking up things into intervals. Study, intervals, workout, intervals. Let's go, set one. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, 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 for the record. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Eight six all the hay. I woke in a bar today, got lost in the ball today. 100 push ups, 100 squats, 5 minutes of switch, stretching. You like that, Bill? Yeah, you had fun, didn't you? <laughs> Feeling good now. A little bit out of breath, but that's good. It's definitely raining outside now. Check this out. Woo hoo! Seven, you made, a, you made an absolute mess there, didn't you? Alright, we're gonna get some water, wipe this sweat off. We'll get back in the last three labs. We'll finish this certification tonight. Oh yeah. My gosh, is it dark in this room. Oh, lighty then. You get it? That was like Jim Carrey. Oh, righty then. Uh, oh, it's not that good. Don't say that again. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's get back into some Google Cloud Platform Dot Engineering Labs. I wonder what we. I can't exactly remember what was next. I think it's 
I think it's map reduce, which I'm gonna have to look up the definition to as well because there's a lot of terms in here. A lot of this stuff is is new to me, right? And uh, I think it's important to recognize that even though it's it's all new and you're going through, I'm going through these labs or you might be going through these labs or whatever course, you're not gonna get it the first time around. Like I, I find that a lot in jujitsu, right? So I go in, I do a move and I'll stuff it up and then the next time I'll go in and be the exact same move and I make the same mistake. And my coach is always like, who's a black belt? So he's wise, awesome dude. And he's like, you know, make the same mistake a hundred times, 500 times, but eventually you'll realize, hey, I should probably stop putting my arm there so I don't get choked out next time. Anyway, let's get back into it. We've got three labs left, data flow, data pipeline, oh, there we go, lab, data pipeline. There was map reduce, that's what I was talking about before. I'm gonna have to look up that. Uh, I think it's reducing the dimensionality of your data or if you know what Matt Reduce is, leave a comment below and explain it as best you can and so you can help me and others understand. Um, and then we have another lab, Matt Reduce in Dataflow. So we've got Dataflow Pipeline, Matt Reduce in Dataflow, and then a final lab, which is lab, no, lab inputs, side inputs. And then we finish up with the last quiz. Easy money, it's 6.42. We're going to finish this in time for dinner. Woohoo! All right, catch on the flip. We're in the last lab. What do we got? Side inputs. Boom. So side inputs are like different sources of data into your main main pipeline. So imagine you've got the, the stream of data here, side inputs, another one coming in over here. That's how I'm thinking of them anyway. All right, let's get into it. Finish this lab and then we're gonna get some food and we wrap it up. All right, I'm up to my last attempt on this quiz for the last eight hours or for the next eight hours if I don't get this quiz right. <sighs> I always, I wrote an article the other day how I always stuffed up in exams. Exams get me, man. They get me. All right, so which of the following statements are true? I think it's this one. Data flow executes Apache Beam pipelines and data flow transforms support both batch and streaming pipelines. And this one I know is BCA. If not, we're completing this tomorrow morning. Jump in. Yes! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Some resources here. You can check those out if you want. Actually, there's a great Medium article which is here. I'll link that below so you can check it out. Um, it's it's a it's one of the sample projects, right? It's so like Google put all this all this GitHub data on BigQuery so you can test it out. So it's two billion files, and then we did one before which are like which Java programs need help. So the Java open source libraries which have to dos or fix me's in them, and there was two million. 196,247 files. Something you don't really want to process on your on your little baby laptop, all right? You want to you want to use BigQuery for that. So we've gone through a lot of stuff today. Let's see if let's see if we've uh, completed it all. From data prep, well data prep's a new one actually that I just learned about. BigQuery, data flow, map reduce. Have we completed the required stuff for today? Oh no. What is this? We haven't passed one of these things. I'm gonna have to go back. It was that dang side inputs lab. The last lab, best lab. All right, well, we're gonna have to go back. I'll see you in a sec. All right, we're back. So I don't know what's going on. There must be an error. I need to reach out to Coursera. Because refresh this page, saying I've, I haven't completed this lab. Then we go into here, the exact lab. Lab completed, elapsed time seven minutes. It's seven minutes because I've done it four times now and I'm really quick at it. <laughs> you don't need the certificate right now. 
You think so? Yeah, yeah, you can fix the bug tomorrow or whatever, but what's most important is you got the skills. Yeah, you're right. You got an incredible platform like Coursera. It helps out 35 million people worldwide, partners with incredible companies, incredible universities. Uh, what you want to use it for is to get the skills that will take you to where you want to go. Uh, yeah, the thing about studying is you can spend the whole weekend in this room. Right? Hours in that chair there. Then you go to work on Monday or you see your friends. No one knows about the hours you put in here, but that's okay. Because you're on the journey. Uh, you're on the journey to where I'm from, 2048. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking care of your health and taking care of your knowledge. Step by step. I mean, you may not notice it now, but it all adds up over time. Trust me. Keep learning, keep moving. Too true, Future Dan. Yeah, I gotta keep that in mind. You heard the man. Keep learning, team. Special shout out to, to Coursera for sponsoring this video. And special shout out to my boy, Lack. Lack's back, baby. Or Lock, or Lack. I still get his name wrong. It's Lack, it's definitely Lack. Lack, you're the man, man. See you, team, I gotta go get some dinner. Keep learning. Oh yeah, and if you want to try the course, there's a link below, as well as a link to that Medium article, which was a tutorial on BigQuery. But I'm enjoying it, except for this little one part that's not letting me pass, but we'll get through it. Have fun. I mean, you can do it tomorrow, but the certificate's not the be-all and end-all. Let them take advantage, I was wildin' All record, off record deals Tell them talk to Colin for the quote All record, off record I Still want the act, not the ghost For the record, I'm done tryin' to make y'all comfortable For the record, you ain't tryin' to grow, then it's done for you